uh, despite the fact that uh, they are endowed with so much resources, yes. they benefit little really trickles down to them uh, in terms of resources. But uh, let me just hear from yourself uh, what you actually captured from there. Uh, yeah, Turkana, first of all, is uh, wealthy in very many things. Wind power, um, this is a place or so we had oil discovered. Mm -hmm. And again, Lake Turkana, which runs 300 kilometers uh, in Kenya, as uh, you know, the Nile patch. Yes. And we discovered that uh, the, the breathing system of a Nile patch is actually very expensive, and the Chinese businessmen are seeking for it because that's what you use to manufacture the the thread you used in uh, in surgery. Uh -huh. uh, and it is so expensive. In fact, uh, with a very big fish. They will just buy, uh, you, you know, the breathing system, uh, the lugs, uh, 50 Kenya shillings, 50,000, and then uh, sell the rest of the fish, 3,000 shillings. Uh, and we, re we realize this is a potential which has not yet been tapped. Uh, this is something needed very much in the country. Uh, the people were organized in uh, cooperatives. Unfortunately, one of the big fishing cooperatives collapsed in the 90s. Uh, it had very serious infrastructure, and I believe uh, the current current government uh, should really work on that. Uh, and uh, the current uh, the senator and the, the leadership in Turkana, the irrigation schemes, which are poorly managed, you know, the water intakes uh, are highly disrupted by insecurity, uh, so that uh, many many parts of um, Turkana. If you, you cannot travel unescorted, and sometimes even the police fall into the dragnet of this fellow. So I think the locals have not been embraced mm -hmm. by the main government over the long time. We don't have this, uh, the Pokos and the Trukanas in, uh, in the police force or in the army, uh, and these are very tough people who can survive very tough conditions. Mm -hmm. So I believe, uh, you know, a lot can be done with the rivers which go through there, a lot of irrigation. Uh, there's a lot of resources there which have been untapped. We went to the court, we visited the court. It's a very old court, small, colonial one times. And we realized that the Chief Justice had been there uh, a few days before we went there. Uh, there's a court building coming up there, one of those big projects of World Bank. It had delayed for some reason, I believe. You know, a justice system is very important for the people. Uh, and uh, in my own opinion, I think, uh, uh, Lodwa has really grown, and uh, that region has a lot of activities, but it was not without drama. The day we were taking off, <laughs> the plane developed some uh, mechanical hitches, <laughs> and we were very lucky that the pilot detected it in good time. I felt that it was a little tricky to bundle the whole Senate in one plane. But yeah, that was very unwise. <laughs> How come? Uh, <laughs> and I thought even uh, insurances will have uh, excuses in case of anything. But the pilot was smart enough to cancel the flight and uh, keep us there overnight. But, but